Mabi Skral in Rustenburg. We are at Rokoko High School. We saw about seven schools from this region and that uh, totaled 1,600 children, which are in grade 11 and 12. So it is one of the biggest career exhibitions we've done as an alumni this year. We've been learners from Pela, Tokweng, Madikwe, and here we have some learners from Motlabe. We are in Mabi Skral here. There are learners from St. Anne's, which is in Bapong, and another village is Tuelakte, where we have a big school called Malefo, and the other two schools is Mbateng and Ramutsudi, which are next to the road that goes to Dertogurt. Over 30 of our alumni present here. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a feat in itself in that it is good to know that there are actually graduates out there who are actually quite busy in their respective fields, but have taken out the time to, to come and, and, and support and impart and really just empower the communities that they come from. This is a step in the right direction. Some career exhibitions are held in towns and cities where schools have to bus children to those venues uh, at a cost for that matter. And then when the JB Max alumni decides to, to take it to the communities. I think it's a good thing in the right direction. At the same time, it is putting the NUM and the JB Max alumni in the map so that at least people know about the existence of this uh, institution. I decided to come here because um, it's near my hometown. I know the kids that are here are disadvantaged and they do need people to come and give them information because it's not information that they necessarily get every single day. So for me to come here and help them and you know give tell them what's out there because we don't know. We like the people around here don't know what is out there. We need to give them information, we need to give them um, encouragement as to what to study, as to strive to go to university and learn and not just end at um, grade 12, they must go further. So I want to come and help encourage them and just give them that, that, that thing that, you know, if I could do it, they can too, because I'm also from around here, from a disadvantaged place. <laughs> But as in never like them from a bad background, but I want to buy but about the background and say the current city disadvantageable. So, nah, or no, like I can get one alone, Linda gets a cell over, but no, see. It's absolutely heartwarming. Um, the moment I stepped out of that combi and walked this distance, I was quite um, are moved in the conditions they study under, yet they actually um, attain absolutely amazing marks. That alone speaks volumes for me, you know, and having to give back, um, it's like a pat on the shoulder for what JB Marks has done for me as an individual. So um, it's, it's something that goes, you know, one need not ask for me to do it, but I do it voluntarily and wanting to do it. But I encourage her for what we are about to do or what we want to do and then motivation they motivate us for for a scare a to scare give up at any time as a teacher the first thing that we expect from the learner is the learner to be motivated because when the, when the learner is motivated you show that you are, he's going to give you the maximum participation and you will manage to get whatever results you, 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 you aspire, aspire. It has always been one of my beliefs, or rather the love I have to, to give back to, to the community because I'm a JB Marks alumni and then, you know, JB Marks is the one that took me to, to school and then one of the things that they prefer or they rather encourage alumni to do is to, to go back to the community that you come from and obviously um, give back, plow back, you know, the knowledge, um, the, the experience, you know, just, just to give career guidance to, to to the students who obviously need to, who need the information. So the reason why I came here is to obviously um, um, play my part, you know, show some love 
to 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 this uh, the the students, and of course, on top of that, it it really brings uh, 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 happiness to me knowing that uh, I can see someone smiling and knowing that I am the reason be, be behind the, that smile, and obviously knowing that these people are obviously people who needs the knowledge that I I do have, and then to a certain degree, I might just help one or two to make the right choices in their career path. Learners from here, learners from this area, benefited a lot because it's not it's not all of the time that we we get access to these things. Uh, it's not it's not every time that we get like people coming here telling us our their about their schools, about what can we study and stuff like that. Career guidance days for the alumni are very important in that they give us an opportunity to give back and give us an opportunity to impart knowledge and to share about our experiences and our careers and in our times when we were in school. So this for us is a community outreach project as well as a student development project in, in that um, we are here to develop and to assist the learners, right? But then at the same time, we're empowering communities and we're giving back to our communities and we're saying to them um, that there is someone out there who comes from the same community and we're here to impart and share so that the generation that comes after us can have people that they can look up to. Most of the youth here in Muruleng and their Tepiot or South Sport as a whole, they are very demoralized. Um, many of my peers didn't make it far in life and they are now at home, they're not working, they're not even holding any degree to their names and the only means of entertainment here is alcohol and dating and being pregnant. So I wish to change the status of Muruleng and actually change it to education because I believe with education you can actually go far and can change lives. I mean nothing is impossible if you are educated. This place is a village and is very disadvantaged and I believe we've managed to get a lot of information. We got to ask questions uh, based on whatever that you want to study. It's a good thing to, to be honest with you that people still remember where they're coming from because it, 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 it's so painful that you, you'll have people who studied through the JV Max Education Trust and they don't even come back to say this is what we achieved one from the community two from the national union of america and say we thank you because all that is we say we say we have a social responsibility to make sure that we develop our society and if these people saw the need to come and we are really very proud to 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 be associated with the jb max education trust Abanda! 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 Abanda!